So I am truly excited about doing today's video. I've been holding this one off for quite a long time. We're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison between a 12-core Threadripper Pro and a 12-core Ryzen machine. Let's see which one comes out on top. Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Services and on our channel we like to bridge that gap between the creative content and the technical requirements. Today's technical requirement, well it's more of a comparison. We're gonna be comparing this Threadripper Pro versus this Ryzen desktop system and we're gonna see which one comes out on top. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I really like these Threadripper Pro workstations. This is the P620 from Lenovo and I've been using them in my studio for quite a long time. But if you've also been watching my channel, you know that I've actually built this system here that's beside me, this Ryzen 5950X system, and also put in the custom water loop. So I'm really interested to see which machine's gonna come out on top. So I haven't done a comparison. I'm gonna kinda of do this live with you guys, and we're gonna see which computer actually is going to be faster. So both of these systems are pretty identical. They both have 12 cores and 24 threads. Uh, they both have 32 gigs of CL16, 32 megahertz uh, memory in both systems, as well as the same model of RTX 3080 in both systems. So it is a really apples to apples comparison. So we're gonna be taking a look at Cinebench, of course. It's kind of like the standard benchmarking uh, for CPU workloads, as well as doing some CPU rendering and some GPU benchmarking. And then we'll take a look at Blender to see how both systems interact you know, with the software itself and as far as uh, rendering out the same scenes. So the first test we'll do today is we're gonna start with Cinebench. We're gonna do a single core render on both machines at the exact same time. So let's see which one is going to finish this test faster. So while that test is running, I want to talk to you about the CPU in both systems. So in the Ryzen 5900X, we got a base clock speed of 3.7 gigahertz. And the Threadripper Pro, we have a base clock speed of 4.0. So it's clocked a little faster in the, you know, the lower single core clock speeds. But in the boost clock speed of the Threadripper Pro, it is uh, 4.3 gigahertz. Well, with the Ryzen machine, it's 4.8 gigahertz. The L2 cache on both machines is 6 megabytes, but the L3 cache is 64 megabytes on both systems. The socket used on the 5900X is the AM4 socket, while the socket on the Threader Pro is a WRX8. Operating temperature for both CPUs is about 90 degrees Celsius. TDP on the 5900X is only 105 watts, where the TDP on the Threadripper Pro is 280 watts, so it uses a lot more power you know, to process or run that GPU. This CPU came out in uh, late last year, in, in 2020, and the Threadripper Pro came out about uh, summer of 2020. So they're both fairly new CPUs themselves. On the 5900X, we're running at about 4.5 gigahertz on a single threaded process, and over here on the Threadripper Pro, we're running at about 4.2 gigahertz for a single threaded process. So the 5900X is completed, uh, but we're still waiting on the uh, Threadripper Pro, and we get a score of 1,556 on the single core uh, benchmark. So we're almost complete over here on the Threadripper Pro, and we're completed, and we've got a score of 1,277. So, so far the Ryzen machine is kind of beating out the Threadripper Pro, but let's see what that is like when we're doing the multi-core CPU. So let me get my mouse set up here. And we'll click them both at the same time. Start. So with the task manager open, you can see that we're running all cores, all CPU cores on the 5900X, and we're running currently at about uh, 4.18 gigahertz. And over here on the Ryzen machine, we're running also all cores, and we're clocking out at about 3.93 gigahertz. And as you can see on both machines, we're actually topping out all cores on all the CPUs running at 100%. So it's running fairly quickly. And the Ryzen is finished, and so is the Threadripper Pro. So on the Ryzen machine, we got a score of 2,658, and on the Threadripper Pro, our score is 1,846. So again, the Ryzen machine is uh, performing a lot better than the Threadripper right now. So another test we can do is actually use the V-Ray benchmark. In the, in the benchmark itself from Chaos, there is three different tests, and the first one, V-Ray, is a CPU test. So we'll start those at the same time, and we'll see how long it takes to run both of these tests. So the V-Ray test itself is, is not a, a timed benchmark, it's a score benchmark. So it runs for about a minute on each system, and then whichever one comes up with the highest score wins. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about, which system is actually you know, quieter? So 
My Ryzen machine is generally noisy. It's got nine case fans in it. It is a custom water-cooled loop, and but it does kind of maintain that same noise level. Where on the Threadripper Pro right now, as soon as I started this test, you can now actually hear the CPU fans and all that start to clock and or start to spin a little faster, and it's getting a little louder. But as far as they go right now, uh, I would say they're about even as far as, as noise level. So that test is complete. And we have on the Threadripper Pro, uh, 13,413 is our score. And on the 5900X, we got 15,623. So, so far the 5900X is kind of beating the Threadripper Pro and, and most of the tests so far. Let's uh, switch over to GPU testing just to see if there's any difference. They should generally be running approximately the same. So while that's running, we can take a look at the task manager, come over to the CPU, and you'll notice here that it says it's using very little of the CPU, but if you change one of these graphs over to CUDA, you can see that it's running at 100%. And both CPUs, or both GPUs are running at 100%, while well, the CPU is using very little utilization. So we have the score done on the 5900X, it's 1300 even, and we're still waiting on the Threadripper Pro. So we have just uh, five more seconds. And we have 1,324. So we have one test, they're very close, but this one, the Threadripper did win out uh, over the 5900X by a very, very narrow margin. So another really good test to be testing out two different machines is the SpecView Perf. Now this is not a rendering test. Uh, this is kind of a viewport performance test. So it takes a look at your CPU, your RAM, as well as your hard drive and your memory bus. And it does a bunch of tests. And in this case, I'm gonna do a 3D Max and a Maya test. And it gives you back a score. So it's a great tool. If you have never used it before, you can go to the SpecView uh, website and download it. It's free to use. Um, it does take a long time to download because these view sets are kind of large. But they have worked with Autodesk to actually create these view sets. And so it is an, a kind of an official uh, test for testing out your viewport performance. So I'll run that in both machines and then we'll come back. And we'll see what the results are. So the spec view test is completed. It does take about 10 minutes to run for both uh, view sets. And we have a score on the 5900X for 3D Max at 143.46. And on the Threadripper Pro, we have 133.24. So again, the Ryzen machine is on top. For Maya, we had 480.31 for the Ryzen machine, and we have 409.61 for the Threadripper. Now, all of these scores are, are kind of impressive for a machine of you know, only having 12 cores and 24 threads in an RTX 3080. But you can still see that the 5900X is kind of beating out my really favored Threadripper Pro over here. So another really good GPU test to render is the Octane Bench. So I've downloaded it and put it on both machines here. And if we set it up to run on both systems and we click Run, and we'll see how long that takes and what the score is when it's completed. So we got the Octane test is done, and on the 5900X we had 534.93, and on the Threadripper Pro we had 535.08. So they were extremely close, I would say. They rendered pretty much the exact same score between the two systems. So I've switched over to Blender, and you can see I have the basic BMW scene open in both machines here, and this is the uh, CPU renderer, not the GPU. So we'll click F12 on both machines and see how long it takes to render it up. So while that's running, I wanted to open up the task manager in both machines and see exactly what we're running at. So on the Threadripper, or sorry, on the Ryzen machine, we're running at about 4.2 gigahertz. So when we open up the task manager over here on the Threadripper machine, we're running at about 3.92 gigahertz. So that's on all cores. So a little bit faster on the Ryzen machine than the Threadripper. So these should generally finish approximately the same. So again, our Ryzen machine finished first and we have two minutes even. So our Threadripper Pro is closely behind that and it's got a finishing score of two minutes and 10 seconds. So close, but the 5900X did beat it in the CPU rendering. So that about conclude our test for today. I was quite surprised. Uh, I know my Ryzen machine, my 5900X, is a pretty good machine, and I kind of really like it. 
I'm attached to it. You know, I built a custom water loop. But for it to beat the Threadripper Pro in every single test was quite surprising. Now, I would not count out a Threadripper Pro machine. The Threadripper Pro has options and an upgrade path that you just cannot get in a Ryzen desktop machine. So for instance, 16 cores is the most CPU I can put in my Ryzen machine or my desktop system. I can put in a 32 or a 64 core processor into a Threadripper Pro machine. So in two years from now, when I want to upgrade and I just, I'm doing more complex projects, I can then add a lot more horsepower to the Threadripper Pro. Also, what if I need a lot more RAM? So I am working on complex projects and I need more than 128 gigs of RAM. I can put up to two terabytes of RAM in a Threadripper Pro, where in my desktop machine, I can only put 128. Also, the PCIe lanes in the Threadripper Pro. There's 128 versus 24 in a desktop machine. So I can easily put multiple GPUs and utilize the whole 16x bandwidth of every slot. I can put multiple GPUs in my desktop machine, um, but once I do, I'm kind of narrowing it down to 8x per slot for my two GPUs. But overall, the Ryzen machine was faster in every single test. Now the cost of the Ryzen machine is a lot less, not a lot less, but I would say maybe 20% less than a Threadripper Pro 12 core, so of the same comparison. So it all depends on what you want to do and what you think that your future needs are going to be before you would choose between these two machines. If you just want something that's fast today and you don't really care, buy a desktop machine. This thing works great. It's a great desktop. It's a great CPU. If you want something that you can upgrade in the future, be it two years, three years down the road, a Threadripper Pro machine is the one you're going to want to use. So, you know, it was an apples to apples comparison, but, you know, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Uh, all the tests are what they are, and you know, I was quite surprised. So before we go, question of the day. If you had a choice between each system, which one would you buy? Put your comments in the comments section below. So that'll about wrap it up for this video, but before I go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit notifications so you can be notified when I do release new videos. Don't forget to go back and watch the other videos that are on my channel and visit the Discord chat server. There's a link in the comment section below. So I really like doing this video for you and I hope to see you in the next one.